quick thought, I hope. Little thought, question type of thought for you to consider about your God, your Lord, your Savior, your Jesus. As far as what you have, this is something that's talked about a lot in religion. And there's kind of all kinds of books and sermons produced and studies about what you have, what you can get. It's usually in that context of what you can get through your behavior, through your faith. And I just like to ask you to consider what do you have? Because there's promises. I always talk about promises and things like that. And I found, after years of living in religion, I found that I do have everything. I have a promise that's fulfilled in Christ. My best friend, my Lord, my Savior, my everything. My brother, my father. And yes, I am his church. I'm his bride, so he's my bridegroom. He's my creator. He's my helper. He's my teacher. He's my master. He's everything. I'm sure there's some other titles. The important thing is, is I have him. And that changes your perspective when you really look at that reality and you embrace it. You really embrace it. I'm not saying or presuming that I've done this perfectly or my wife has the error that anyone can. We're flawed individuals. But there are perfect concepts or realities or truths that you can believe with whatever faith you have. Because you, you can't give something you don't have. My faith is whatever it is. I don't attain to try to be like Abraham or David or Moses or anything. I'm just saying that I believe that. I believe he fulfilled his promise. He fulfilled it by giving me himself. He belongs to me. No greater love has any man than that he should give his life for his friends, his life, his very own personal life. No greater love. He gave himself for me and I have that. It's a fulfilled promise. I'm not waiting for it to be fulfilled. I'm not trying to figure out what I can do to get it fulfilled. How I can be a better person. How I can learn more about right and wrong. About getting my virtuousness level up. And I think the Bible pretty much confirms this. And the Spirit does through the Bible. If you really look at it and, and you see. Because... There's nothing in this world like the love your father has for you. And religion always wants to compare it to some earthly father. And say, well, you know, a good father does X, Y, Z. Well, he's not just a good father. He's your perfect father. Lord, God, creator, savior, friend, everything you will ever need. He's perfect in every way. He laid it all there on the table. He did it for you while you were yet a sinner. sinner. He did it because he loves you. And you can embrace it or you can reject it. But you, you have it available to you and there's no earning of it. There's no steps. There's no, there's no way to victory through this ordered series of penances and obediences. And command, obeying. I know I'm getting redundant. I'm just trying to make it clear what I'm saying here so you can consider it and see the perfection of God. Not through me, but through asking these questions yourself when you go to him in prayer. It's not a bad question to say, God, are you really perfect? You might say, well, that's, that's silly. That's a rhetorical question. Of course he's perfect. Well, if he's perfect, then what's he doing expecting perfection or some semblance of it out of you? The perfect God has already done everything on your behalf. And all he asks is your trust. So you have everything. It is true. Ephesians 1, 3. You have all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies in Christ. That according to 2 Peter 1, 3. You have been given all things that pertain to life and godliness. There is no more you need. Promise fulfilled. Validated. Stamped. 
sealed. It's yours. You have it. Believe it. Embrace it. And live that life that he has for you. That wonderful life. That's not, the life isn't perfect. But the God you live it with is. That's what he wants for you. It can begin right now. It has for me and my wife. And it still has problems. That's never going to go away as long as we're in this world. It's just so much different when you know your Father is with you. And it's amazing. In Jesus' name.